This is Bravo Squad, a group of genuine American heroes. He just had to come back to America with uh, Bravo Squad, which is the squad of boys that he was out there with, for this victory tour. He's been, um, he was caught on camera in this firefight in Iraq, and this footage has gone viral back home, and he's been perceived as this national hero. You also got to engage the enemy up close. Not many soldiers are given that kind of experience. Given? And so they're flown back for this big victory tour and the film takes place over this one day and kind of what goes on in, in Billy's head and, and kind of his coming of age story. Sorry, excuse for a warrior I'm turning out to be. Make it about something bigger than yourself. You very much are watching the movie through his eyes. But I, I, I think that that's, I don't think that's the extent of the experience. I don't, I don't necessarily know if it's just you watching the movie through his eyes because it's not just what he sees. You're watching the movie through his brain. You're watching the movie through his perception, not his eyes. You know things most of the rest of us will never know. That's got to weigh heavy on a young man's shoulders. He's constantly talking about truth and uh, being able to taste it and get just really, um, yeah, not fake it. And that's like, that's my favorite type of filmmaking. He just takes it further than I've really kind of ever seen anyone um, go in terms of ambition. They're a bunch of kids thrown into the deep end of a not so popular war and what do they do? They bond together with love and brotherhood. That's what they do. He feels their pain because uh, my character, Albert, goes through with Hollywood, you know, fighting to get in with Hollywood or fighting to get something good made in Hollywood. And we, so he can relate with these guys that they're coming home and being disrespected a little bit and people don't, they say they, they, they uh, love them and appreciate them, and, but they don't wanna, they don't put their money where their mouth is. You guys keep protecting America. You guys are the real heroes. <laughs> they don't uh, respect them like they should be, honor them like they should be honored for, for sacrificing and fighting, putting their life on the line for the country. It is sort of weird being honored for the worst day of your life. But Aang wanted uh, the character to slightly change and be more uh, of a father figure, more likable, even though he's a good, strong businessman. You know, because uh, villains can't be all bad or uh, you know, it's just too easy. Your story, Billy, no longer belongs to you. It's America's story now. It's us against them over there. It could be even more so when they come back here, even when people thank them. They're projecting themselves to them. Nobody really understands them. What's that one like? And the way, how lonely they feel, how out of the place, and how much they love each other, hang on to each other. Itself is a poignant story. For the first time in my life, I feel close to something bigger than myself.